Try to look at the situation based on the situation. You will look at the original text of the law and see do I meet the requirements or not. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. How do I copyright a name, title, slogan, and logo? The thing is, when you look at these four things, most of the time people use these things when they talk about trademark. Because when you talk about the name, most of the time that's about your brand name and you want to register in order to protect your brand. When you look at the title, if you wrote a book and you have a title for the book, most of the time you register the title as a trademark because people will use the title uh, when they are promoting your book and you want to keep that under control. And you can also see that as a kind of brand. Most of the time people will go the trademark way. Title, slogan, the same way. They will go trademark way. Logo, that's a uh, complicated one because you can use both. You, As soon as you create a logo, you have copyright on it. I will explain that soon. And sometimes when you have a brand and you have a logo for your brand, it's smart to register it as a trademark. Or you can register a combination between a logo and the name as a brand. That's also an option. I'm not going to talk about that last part in this video because it can be complicated and that's more about the topic trademark. But I'm going to discuss those four things to show you what your options are. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go let the rules and then we're going to talk about those four things. So as you can see right here are the rules. This is the English translation. When you look at the translation of a um, law in a country, the translation is okay. It can be okay, but it can also be wrong. What you need to always keep in mind is when someone translates something, it's about making choices. And sometimes the choices is correct and sometimes not. But sometimes it can be correct, but it doesn't suit your situation. So what you always need to keep in mind is always look at the law in the country and the text, the original text. Try to keep that in mind. When you look at law, to always look at the original text and see what they're literally saying about that. So here we have the original text and here we have the translation. What we always need to keep in mind is when we talk about copyright, we always have three things. Yeah. Let me repeat that. I will repeat it in every video to show you what you need to keep in mind. And when you keep that in mind, it's easy to understand how the situation works. So we have a, when you look at copyright, we have A, B, and C. Yeah. A is most of the time the copyright itself, and the copyright itself is on a work. Like, like uh, for example, if I create a picture. I have the picture as the work, but I also have copyright on that work. Hopefully you understand what I mean. Then B is the copyright holder. So if I create a picture, I'm the copyright holder. So I'm the owner of the copyright. If I give you a license, you're allowed to use it. It doesn't mean you own those rights. So I give you a license, a right to use those rights. You understand? And C is in third person the one to use your right yeah in this situation it's not really that important but when you have certain kind of rights you want to protect it if you want to protect it you want to know what your options are that's why you need to always keep c in mind so how do you protect or how can you protect your rights or how can you take action against c when c used your rights that's why you need to look at what are your rights and how can you, how can you do it but when you look at your rights, so we know A is your rights, you have some limitation, but what are my rights? If you look at here, your rights are make it public and reproduce it. So openbaar maken en veelvoudigen. That's what they're saying here. So if you look at the translation, make it public and reproduce it. Those are your rights. So if you look at your rights here, if you look at your rights, you have two rights, public, or reproduce, reproduction, reproduce. Sorry about that. So those are your rights, yeah. But when you get rights, 
according to law there are also some limitation it's not unlimited rights so here you see limitation here you see opaque here opaque here means limitation so li limitation by law limitation provided in the law beperking by the wet gesteld that means you can you can get um you can the law can limit your rights so if you look at here the law can limit your rights so when we look at here when we keep in this when we keep keep this in mind so these are our rights we need to also look at the limitation so when there is limitation for example say it's citation when there's limitation for example like citation then you cannot do anything about that so when you look at this question so the question we ask yourself is in this video is how do i copyright a name title slogan and logo so if you go back and you look at the, the law we need to see if we do meet the requirements of copyright and here in the section one or article one you see what copyright is and here in article 10 so here is what is copyright and what can you do with it and here you see hey based on those things i can get copyright so here is you see what a can be so if you look at a these are works where you can put um copyright on it so if you look at the english translation we go to 10 you see they say works protected by copyright but like i said in another video when you talk about copyright you have a right if you're going to enforce your right it's up to you if you're going to protect your right it's up to you it's not like the right is automatically protected that's why i don't like this translation so when you look at this this is an uh, okay translation here article 10 it says on books the content of the books you can get copyright on it it said also lectures you can get copyright on it there are a lot of things that you can find in here drawings you can get copyright on it so if you look at the four things that we are looking today are uh, so here you see some works where you can get copyright on it this is not something that is limits in the legal case a judge said that this list is not limited try to keep that in mind there can be other things that's not listed in here but it can also say your work is put uh, copyright protected it doesn't have to be in here but this is like a guideline that you can follow so if you look at the name if a name meets the requirements of copyright it can be registered as a copyright same apply for a title so we look at in here you can see in here there are a lot of things that can be copyrighted you can put copyright on it but the book itself the content of the book can be copyright protected the cover also so when you look at situation you do not uh, only look at these things but most of the time you look at the total package yeah copyright so does it meet the other parts of the requirements of copyright that's something you need to keep in mind same apply for title slogan those three things almost the same slogan is almost the same as the title it doesn't have to be this long but um when you look at the slogan most company will prefer to go the trademark way than the copyright name because slogan is hard to prove that you were the first one and it's hard to meet the creative part of copyright same apply for a title name the same so those three things yes you can protect it if you meet the requirements of copyright but most of the time you don't because there's no creative aspect in that if you have something that's creative and you put it in that and you meet the uh, all requirements of copyright you're good to go but when you look at logo when you create the logo most of the time I'm not saying when a computer created I'm saying when you created most time you put some creative stuff into the logo and based on that you can get copyright on it yeah so the logo is like a drawing drawing on a computer you draw it create it or doesn't matter you put some creative process into it when you do that most time you meet the requirements of copyright when you have a situation when you go online and you have a website a web app to show you um, a uh, logo and you just change the name into something else there may be some creative processes but the chance is not high that you will get copyright on it it all depends on the situation so if you look at those four things and you look at the question how they got copyright on those four things 
it's difficult it's not like hey on every name you have copyright on it or hey on every title you have copyright on it on hey or every slogan you have copyright same apply for logo it's not that on every logo you have copyright on it you need to look at the situation try to look at the situation based on the situation you will look at the original text of the law and see do i meet the requirements or not and most of the time here is translation really important because when you look at these things these are more specific and they translate the correct things in english but it doesn't mean it's the correct translation because when you look at translation translation like i said before it's about making choices and we see here when they use that kind of words you're making choices especially with the um, language Dutch, because most of the time in dutch for every situation you have a word for it and when you translate it in english a word can have two different meaning and that's the problem with uh, translation so if you look at this question how do i copyright a name title slogan and logo it depends on the situation when you look at the situation and you look at the requirements of copyright you need to check if you meet the requirements or not try to look in every situation to the requirements because a name you can have a name what are you going to use the name for is it better to look at the trademark option same apply for a title when you have a title nice work it's title for a book or doesn't matter whatever is it better to take the trademark way same apply for a logo when you have a really um same apply for a slogan same apply for a slogan when you have a really good slogan is it better to take the trademark way because when you go to the trademark way you have proof that you have a trademark on those days same apply for a logo when you have a logo the chance is high that you can get copyright on the logo but sometimes it's hard to prove but when you have a trademark so it's easy to prove and it's easy to go after someone it's easy to protect it yourself just keep in mind when you talk about those things you need to look at the situation second do you meet the requirements third is it worth going after other person and four can you prove it and that's the most important part and the fifth if you cannot prove it try to look at the other situation is it better to go to the trademark way i will explain that in another video but for now try to focus on those things if you have question about copyright and these things feel free to contact me on discord if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be